Hello folks, so this is 2022, February, March session, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 24. It says that, it's about the chapter superposition, it says that two coherent progressive, progressive waves from different sources meet at a point, yes, which condition must be satisfied for there to be zero resultant amplitude, zero in amplitude, at a point where they, the two waves meet. So to have zero amplitude, we have to find which conditions should be to be met. The first says the two waves must be emitted from each other with the same intensity. It says intensity should be same. Okay, let's say intensity is same. Intensity I1 is equal to I2. But intensity means that intensity has got factors as one is frequency square, one is A square equal to F square A square. F square A square. And it has got other factors also as well. Because intensity not only depends on amplitude or frequency, it has got densities, it has got velocities, and so on. So that's why if I have to have a, a zero amplitude, these amplitudes should be equal. They should be equal, definitely. And uh, And the other is our frequency also should be equal. If it is the same, we must have these two. MG should also be equal and the frequency also should be equal. F1, A, A, uh, sorry, A, F2, A2 and F1, A1. So if NSC is same, that means that, uh, uh, what happens is, NSC is same, this means uh, amplitudes can also not be equal. If A1 is more than A2, this uh, uh, more F1 and F, F2 less f2 might make this equal. So in the same does not mean that a same. It might be that a1 is unequal to a2 or it might be equal to also. So this thing is uh, is not always true. Next is the two waves must be in phase with each other. So if they are in phase with each other, so if they crest and crest overlap, there can be zero amplitude. Here the amplitude increases, becomes plus. So this also untrue. The waves must be traveling in opposite direction. So this also is not true because even if waves travel in opposite directions, what might happen is at some point the amplitude might be high, which you call as anti nodes. At some points uh, it might be zero, which you call as nodes. So nodes, anti nodes, they they are like this, like this. And anti node, node, anti node, node like this. So also not true. Next is the two waves must have the same amplitude. Yes, it's because they have to undergo destructive interference. So this amplitude and this amplitude should be equal. Then only the resultant A will be equal to A1 plus A2. They will cancel each other and become zero. So to have zero resultant amplitude, the amplitudes should be same for both of those waves.